Hello, this is Oscar here with another quick video update. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of an EDC and like an everyday carry of my uh, my duty belt, the things I carry while I'm on duty. But first off, I'd like to give uh, a thanks to Tango9961. I kind of modeled my setup after his setup. So, here we go. As you can see here, I use a nylon inner belt and keepers. The pants that we wear while we're on duty are the 511 tactical pants. So the belt loops are quite thick. They're about this thick. So once you get this, the belt loops through, and then you have all these pouches blocking the Velcro on the other side, it's actually kind of hard for this to stick on to the actual belt. So I use keepers still. Here's my uh, MK4 uh, OC spray. This is cone. Um, I normally uh, carry this in, but uh, lately I've been carrying a stream, which is the uh, Fox as well, but it's the uh, MK4 uh, uh, stream mean green. This one has a little bit of color to it and, you know, a stream. Um, Let's go. I uh, normally carry uh, three sets of gloves, but I used one of them while I was on duty the other night. And this is the Bianchi uh, flat uh, glove holster. As you can see here, I have two open top uh, cuff holders with the, uh, the black uh, Peerless 700s. These are fairly good cuffs because if your cuffs ever break or you have a problem, they have an amazing warranty and our uniform shop will just replace them right then and there at the store so you don't have to worry about sending them out and then waiting for another pair of cuffs to come in and you have to use a spare pair of cuffs. So it's pretty nice. And here's my, my ass, my 26 inch ass. Um, kind of regret I don't like this uh, ass as much because there's this like blackness, this black uh, paint over top of the actual um, metal and it kind of rubs off every once in a while so you'll be like you'll have black stuff all over your hands or something like that and it's also a friction lock one so every time I want to close it I gotta hit it on the ground I kind of want one of the ones with an actual button over here I have a my taser. This is the uh, the X3 taser, the one that shoots out uh, three cartridges, and it also has the two lasers. If you can see that, it also will display a warning. Right here on my booty belt, I have a solid key holster. In here, I keep a uh, elongated uh, handcuff key on swivel, and I keep a spare set of keys to my car or my house just in case I actually leave my uh, my keys at the office or in one of the patrol cars, something like that. And then you know, I go back, and all of a sudden, someone else took that vehicle out, and then I'm stuck without keys. So uh, I always keep a spare set of keys on my duty belt. Um, over here is my, my 215 round magazines for my uh, my Glock 40. I actually just changed out the ammunition for the Zombie Max. We were, we're issued this at work. We're issued the uh, Federal 180 grain uh, hollow points, but I switched it out with the 165 grain uh, Zombie Max hollow points. Figure if I'm ever going to use my service weapon, I might, I might as well do it in style, right? And as you can probably guess, my service weapon is uh, in a uh, Black Hawk uh, level 3 holster, Serpa. And it is a Glock 22. I'm not going to even bother safety checking it because it is loaded right now. 
and I gotta say I kind of wish that the holster was up a little bit more because every time I'm trying to get in and out of my uh, my car it just hits the seat, it hits the seat belt, it's just a pain in the butt. I'm kind of worried about it breaking off eventually because it just keeps on hitting everything. But, you know, I guess there's the, that's the price you pay for trying to have a level 3 holster.